I never met Anna, but I wish I had. Anna had a way of making sense of things, especially the daunting. She reveled in metamorphosis, calling attention to the faintest details in ourselves. She'd expose truths like they were quarters hidden behind the ears. Anna blossomed young. Her lips sat plump, whispering words the young boys never knew or were too young to understand. Her hips swayed, hypnotizing, hypnotizing, hypnotizing. I remember seeing her once, doing her makeup in the morning, pinning her hair up in lavender bundles, humming to herself, thinking the world was not ready for Anna. No, the world was most definitely not ready for Anna. You know the soft spot right behind the ear is only reachable in the most intimate moments when the hair's been draped back like a curtain? Anna's was the softest. Hers was the most of anything. Anna was the type of girl you fell asleep thinking about, wondering if you were lucky enough to sneak past the warm glow of her bright eyes and make your way into even her most fleeting thought. If her fingernails caused riots, then the button of her belly waged war on every 16-year-old boy who'd grow up thinking they had what it took to make Anna something she wasn't, something they had. See, Anna was never something to be had. Anna simply was. In the recess of our adolescent self, Anna danced pirouettes to the beat of our aching hearts, blowing kisses, reciting lines, pantomiming. Anna wasn't beautiful. Anna was more. Anna was real.